As darkness falls on the south coast of New South Wales, Martin Bongiorno implements his latest cost-cutting measure. Using one light bulb at the moment, have one lamp positioned in the middle of the room, and if I need to move from one room to the next, I just take out the light bulb and move it to the next room. In the light of day, he sees how badly he's sinking. Two years ago, Martin's electricity cost him $3.52 a day for 10 kilowatt hours. He's cut back, but now he's paying more, $3.91 per day for less electricity, 8.5 kilowatt hours a day. I mean, I have cold showers. I rarely ever use hot water. I don't cook hot food anymore. His quarterly electricity bill shows he's not keeping up. In 2021, he owed $327. He paid 100. In 2023, he owed $351. He paid 100. Overall, he's $2,000 behind in his utility bills. Cost of living increases have eliminated Martin's financial breathing room. Your bottom line is bottoming out and um, it's having a huge huge impact. Martin's unit is in social housing, but even there, rent is a struggle. He's looking for extra work, and his car stays parked to save money. I just have reduced car usage to the bare minimum, but that really limits what you can do and where you can go. Like many regional areas, there are few charities or food banks, especially if you don't drive. Martin watches prices rise by the week. That has more than doubled. He shops daily. Last year, he spent $20 a day for five or six items. He's cut that to around $15 a day for three or four items. Over the last few years, watching what he spends has become the dominant theme of his life. It's exhausting, yeah, emotionally, it's psychologically, it's draining. I'm finding it's just, it, the cost of living is just unrelenting. I don't feel like there's any sense of, well, there, there's no sense of relief. The McKay-Sadler family in Wagga Wagga know all about unrelenting cost-cutting. Since the ABC visited them two years ago, things have only gotten tougher. It's been my whole life, pretty much. So it's like, um, are we ever going to be like somewhat stable? Because I, I just don't know anymore. In the driveway sits an aging hatchback. The family was hoping to register for 18-year-old Rose. I hope you didn't memorize these. That was the plan before cost of living increases erased the family's financial progress. Okay, could you hold that to us? <laughs> Something comes up every time that we need to pay for. Registration and insurance would cost about $1,100, money the family doesn't have. And with no car, Rose hasn't learned to drive. I would like to learn eventually, but um, I'm a bit afraid that we won't be able to afford it. Both Mike and his wife Liz are studying to retrain as teachers and struggling to pay higher bills for just about everything. Energy costs have reached $292 a month, They've repeatedly sought relief from their energy provider. They'd like to bring their bill down, but they can't afford to. Like most rental, old rental properties, there's no insulation in this thing. Uh, no landlord's going to put solar on board. And the family's eating a lot more of what they call brown foods, processed and packaged. This crumbed, prepared, frozen, no waste chicken is 10 bucks for a kilo. I can't get chicken of any sort for $10 a kilo, no way. Processed chicken tenders cost $9.99 a kilo. Fresh chicken fillets cost more. The same goes for frozen French fries, $2.60 a kilo. That's cheaper than fresh potatoes. They know they're not eating well, but it's all they can afford. We eat less meat. Mike and I will forego, you know, some fruit and stuff so the kids can have it instead. 
The family has had to move three times in the last five years. Each time, the rent goes up. It just doesn't take much to derail things. The rental increases on top of everything else has been really, really hard. I mean, this is the first time problem in my life where I can see us not getting through the rough patch. Food, energy, rent, mortgage payments. There's no more charity or assistance families like these can turn to. They're hoping the federal budget will provide desperately needed relief. Norman Hermont, ABC News, Wagga Wagga.